This one goes out to all my ladies. I just want to let y'all know how I feel. Ladies, if you're out there, this one's for you. I don't give a shit about you. I just want to smoke meth all day. I just want to do cocaine. I would punch a dog for some sands, y'all. I just want to sip some lean. I'm going to steal some money from my grandma. Not that I need the money. So goddamn rich, it ain't funny. Hey Greg, I'm sure that I'm not the only person who's noticed that celebrities suck lately. Like if celebrities was a TV show, this season would suck. This season of celebrities is just, it's just bonkers. Yeah. I feel like celebrities used to be these like untouchable gods and goddesses of Hollywood. They never misbehaved or got in trouble. They were just, you know, these shining idols on a mountain and we could only ever dream of being anything like them. There were celebrities like Kanye West who like, sure he made good music, but he also had some like, you know, temper tantrums. He had some behavioral issues. But I feel like the celebrities of today are just like all of the behavioral issues and none of the talent, or at least not much. And I know you already know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lil Tay. I'm talking about Woe Vicky. I'm talking about Danielle Brigoli, Lil Pump. And sure, Lil Pump's got a few bangers. Get it! But I mean, he's not a very good role model. And I guess there's nothing like inherently wrong with making dumb, poorly behaved people famous. I just don't really identify with any of the celebrities of today. Like I'm not extremely rich. I don't do cocaine. I don't know what lean is. Over the past couple months, I've just been yearning for a celebrity that I really identify with. And that's when I came across Mason Ramsey. <laughs> yes, this video is about the yodeling kid from three months ago. Now I know what you're thinking and stop it. I make so many videos of being like, this person sucks. This person makes bad videos. And you know what? I thought it was time for a change. Mason Ramsey's the best. He's the best celebrity, okay? That's really what I'm getting at. <laughs> I mean, need I say more? Need I say more? Oh, I need say more? Okay, I say more. If you don't remember, Mason Ramsey is this kid who got famous for yodeling in a Walmart like three months ago. It's just so funny. In a world of like Lil Vicky's and Wo Tay's. Wait. It's just so funny in this world of like poorly behaved 12 year olds getting famous for, you know, punching their mom in the face or flexing on everybody to see this like 11 year old well-mannered country boy taking the limelight. It really butters my Greg's. I think the main reason Mason Ramsey is so entertaining to me is because he's literally like a 60 year old man trapped in an 11 year old's body. Look at this video from when he was on Ellen. Mason, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. So, uh, I, I understand. So, Golconda, that's where you're from. Yes. So, it's a very small town, 700 people, and this is your first time you've ever been on an airplane. Yes. How it, was that? It was very good, but uh, driving with the driver letting me go in the back of the limo, that was awesome. The driver letting me go in the back of the limo, that was awesome. This kid doesn't even know that you're supposed to sit in the back of the limo. The limo probably showed up and he was like, okay, I'll just get in the passenger seat. And he was like, don't you want to sit in the back? And he was like, I can sit in the back? Oh man, oh boy. He's just so pure. Then I tried some sparkling water and eh, wasn't so good, but. <laughs> Eh, wasn't so good. If that was like Danielle Bergoli, she would have been like, this sparkling water tastes like shit. Uh, give me something else. Give me something else. Give me lean. Please lean. I need lean now. I don't know what lean is. So do you like LA? Yeah, but uh, I'm a country boy. And, <laughs> and out in the old country, all we do is bail straws of hay. And next thing you know, you're sitting under a tree, taking a nap with your hat down and a weed in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is perfect. Sitting under a tree with a weed in your mouth. I mean, <laughs> a weed? This kid is cool as fuck. He's so young, but he acts like he's been retired for 10 years. He just doesn't have a care in the world. This kid's 11 years old and he's cooler than I'll ever be. Like, I would, that's something I would never even think to do. Okay. So when did you start yodeling? The first song I tried to sing was Long Gone Lonesome Blues. Mm -hmm. Who sings that? Hank Williams Sr. And that's your favorite singer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your grandfather yodels, right? Mm -hmm. And is he a good yodeler as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, this kid is a savage and he's not even trying. That's what I like about him. So many other celebrities these days, I feel like are just trying so hard to be a savage. Diss track after diss track, beating up your own mom, flexing on your haters. And here's Mason Ramsey just 
casually telling his grandpa he's bad at yodeling to his face on national television. He's not even trying. I get the feeling a lot of you are gonna think, Danny, this meme was popular like three months ago. Why are you talking about it now? You're a little late to the punch. But what you don't understand is back then he was just a meme. The vast majority of people who like found Mason Ramsey through that meme have forgotten about him by now. That's how all memes go, you know? They have the initial burn, and then they sort of fade out. But you know who hasn't forgotten about him? Me! Because he's not just a meme anymore. He's a star. And this might sound like an insult, but he's really let the fame go to his head. It's not an insult, because he has let the fame go to his head in just the very best way. This dude knows how to work a crowd better than anybody I've ever seen. A spin and the pointy fingers, there's no beating that. Okay, look at this video of Mason Ramsey getting interviewed for some radio show. You gonna do a whole album? Is that what you want to do the rest of your life? From now on, is that you want to just make country music? What? <laughs> <laughs> right now, you're in front of more country music fans on the air than you've ever been in your life because this is the biggest country music channel ever. Yep. Tell all your girlfriends that, okay? Okay. <laughs> do you... They've just been told. <laughs> Oh my god. I think he just made everybody in the crowd his girlfriends. Even the guys. That was so smooth! Now if you're like me, you're probably thinking, okay, this kid's got a great voice, he's got great charisma, he's going places, but I'm a little worried. We all know what tends to happen to child stars. They get a little bit too big for their britches. Uh, is that the expression? Big for their britches? Big in their britches? Their britches? just can't hold him anymore. Like the same thing that happened with Justin Bieber a while ago. You get into the wrong crowd, you start hanging out with the wrong people, your career starts to take a dive, you know? You start acting out, people don't like you as much, you stop making music because you're just all about the cool kid's life. But don't worry, Mason Ramsey only surrounds himself with the best. Look at this video he posted on Twitter. It's got the caption, Saturdays are for the boys. So this is what he does on his crazy Saturday nights. This is his crazy weekend plans. It's just him and a couple buds going absolutely apeshit on a banjo and some guitars. I mean, just look at them. They are absolutely losing it on these things. The kid on the banjo especially. Wow. Mason Ramsey only surrounds himself with other child prodigies. He just gets together with a group of buds and they just for like 10 hours straight. I guarantee it. They never say a word to each other, I bet. They just sit down and just in the background, you just see like the sun coming up and going down, the moon coming up and going down over and over, and they're just like... Okay, look at this Instagram story. He finds a group of kids playing basketball, and he wants to join in, so look what he does. How cool is that? Mason just goes up to these kids and just goes... And they're all like, oh shit, it's that kid! Can you imagine being that famous? That well-known for yodeling, that you can go up to any group of people and just go, And they're like, it's you! So he introduces himself in the coolest way, and then he absolutely kills it on the court. Hey, right here! Yeah! Is there anything he can't do? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Foul. Foul. Wow, you're really just gonna do my boy Mason like that? Fouling him in cold blood, you sick fuck! I'm sorry guys, but I stand. There's no other way around it. I stand. A lot of people don't know this, but he's been releasing music. Actually, just a few days ago, he released an EP. He has a song called Famous that absolutely bops. Bops around. Bops around in your head all day. My girl, ever since I met you, I got a whole new perspective. If I'm gonna be famous for some. Sure, it's a little bit weird for an 11 year old to be singing about being in love with someone and sure the song was probably written by like 20 label execs, but It does bop. I think my favorite thing without a doubt about Mason singing I mean it is very good But my favorite thing about his singing is that he hasn't outgrown the phase that kids have where they don't show any emotion when they sing Like from when kids first learn how to sing 
up until maybe 11 or 12, a kid singing in front of an audience just has absolutely no expression on their face. It's just, if I'm gonna be famous for some... Even if, like, the most beautiful voice is coming out of their mouth, it's just, there's nothing happening here. Next time you go to, like, a birthday party for a five-year-old, watch all the kids sing happy birthday. It looks like they're summoning Satan. You know what I just realized? The reason he doesn't have an expression on his face is because he's just so goddamn cool that he doesn't give a shit. There's nothing cooler than not giving a shit, and this kid just clearly doesn't care at all. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty much a prodigy and I got famous because of my beautiful voice, but honestly, I just don't care. I know this video is a little bit different than my usual stuff, but sometimes it's nice to take a break from shitty content and watch something that's truly inspiring. If you're not Greg yet and you want to join, Greg is the strongest army on the internet. Greg is what I call my fans. It's probably the coolest a name for a fan base ever. So if you want to join Greg, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications and you can be Greg. Thank you, Amber Morgan, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I climb up to the top of a mountain and I yell, I'm king of the world! And then I actually become king of the world. But it's not as exciting as it sounds. It's actually a pretty bureaucratic job. It's a lot of sitting in an office, waiting for things to happen. It's not very fun. So stay tuned for that. Bye!